So in this problem, we're going to take a look at what is called the difference quotient. The problem is broken into three parts. We have f of x plus h, f of x, and h. We're going to start by doing this part. If we just were going to do f of x plus h, that would mean plug in an x plus h wherever we see an x into f's equation. So we're going to do that first. So instead of x squared, it's x plus h squared. Then instead of minus 3x, it's minus 3x plus h. And then we, of course, have the plus 2. So I've just completed this part of the problem here, inserting the x plus h wherever I see an x in f's equation. Then I'm going to put this subtraction sign. And then up top, we're also going to subtract f of x. This function here is f of x, but I'm going to remember to subtract it in parentheses. So f of x is x squared minus 3x plus 2. So I've just taken this quantity right here and subtracted it. Finally, it says to put the entire thing all over h. And so I've taken care of that part as well. Now it just becomes simplifying. Here I have to FOIL this. If I FOIL, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'll distribute the negative 3, negative 3x minus 3h. I'll keep the positive 2. Then I'm going to distribute this negative to each one of these terms. Negative x squared plus 3x minus 2 and that is all over h. If you've done this problem correctly, everything that was in the parentheses here will now cancel out. The negative x squared with the positive x squared, the positive 3x with the negative 3x, the negative 2 with the positive 2. And everything that's left up top should contain an h. We're left with 2xh plus h squared minus 3h all over h. And at this point, since every single term has an h in it, I can cancel one h in each term. This h, this h, one of these, and that h right there. And what I'm left with is 2x plus h minus 3.